Uh, hello guys, uh, today we are going to make a video about sending mail with node mailer. So for this application, we are going to use the react.js for a framework and the node.js for backend. And then we are going to use the react for our frontend. So if we come this website, in my website, I use the node mailer. Uh, when we forget our passwords and I'm gonna uh, let user to send email to their email and uh, when users sign up in here uh, I'm gonna send the uh, email to their email for welcoming message so for this kind of reason we can use the node mailer so um, I made very simpler app for this video in here so first we're gonna write the name of the user I'm gonna send the mail to so the name will be maybe just John and I also gonna write the email of John uh, it will be smile ajw gmail.com and I'm gonna click the send mail button so uh, now I'm going to this email to check if that mail I sent is sent really well or not so first I need to go to the gmail and it's the hello and I wrote the name in here John so from now on I'm gonna make the web from the scratch so first we will so we come in here and we are gonna make the app name react chat and now I'm going to use visual studio code so I'm gonna open the folder I just made this one react chat app so nothing is in here, first I need to do uh, npm in it and I'm gonna type version 1 description, I'm not gonna write it and entry point will be index.js, test command, the repository keyword, author, John, you can write your name there, license and yeah okay and first I need to make the entry point will be index index.js and if we come in here uh, there will be the dependency where we need to download for the backend this one the first up we're gonna download all of them so and npm install download body parser uh, if I just explain it briefly for those the dependencies the of when we get request from the front end so we use the body parser and cookie to parse uh, their request and we will use the express for our routing and we will use the node mail dependency to send the mail and we will use the concurrently to turn our front end and back end together at the same time and we will use the node mode to update the code in real time so first we are going to download those dependencies so body parser and key parser and express and node mailer and save clear and we also need to download install concurrently and node mode we save and dev so this dev means we are gonna use on uh, I have a typo issue so npm i'm sorry about this install concurrently and node mode 
save tab. So this tab means we only gonna use this dependency when we are in the development mode, not in production mode. So if we see the package.json file here, and we can see those dependencies that installed. Uh, now first we go to our entry point and we're gonna make our express const express and require express and we're gonna use the body parser require body parser and we also need to use the cookie parser require cookie parser and we're gonna use the app and we're gonna use the app variable for the express so when we use the express we will use this variable so app and use now we need to use our express to make the server so we will use this app now listen and it can be any port but we will use the 5000 port and then the callback functions console log if, if server is running at 5000 ports so we will say server running at 5000 so now it's time for us to move on to react part for our front end so we will make client folder and we will change our directory into client and then we will create react app and client folder it will take a while so now we have our react app created so uh, now if we let our react app boot it off npm run start so from now we are gonna make the template in here for what we need so if we come in here app.js this is the place we need to make our template so first we're gonna delete the part we don't need and in here we will have this one and in here in here we need to make two input for name and email and then we will also need one button for submit for submitting our mail so we're gonna make two input and then one button so in here id will be uh, name and placeholder name and value and on click for a method it be similar as that but this will be email in place or it will be email and per button send email and this will also need on click uh, and then I will make the form in here this will be on Sunday and in here we need to make the state for this one and this one uh, first we are gonna use the react hook or in here use st 
state. So const name and set name. Here, const email and set email this day, and, and then we will put this one in here and put this one here, and we will also make the function for on click. So, this one will be just and the cli and this one will be same as this one so we will make this function in here const we will use the error function so we will have the e band and e pre band default And in here we have two inputs so if we write something in here this one has to be changed so if a target id equal name if we are typing it in here this one so name will be changed value or if it's not this one will be changed e target value so if you and I'm going to just oh. now I'm going to let you know I'll let you see this one if you write something in here ah oh, I'm sorry <laughs> I used on clay but it has to be unchanged ah oh, I'm sorry about it so if I come back in here, if I type something, yeah, I can type in here. So uh, I need to make the function for submitting. So in here, it will be handle submit. It will be same as this one. So we will make the submit function. It will be also the error function. We get the event from here. We prevent default. So, uh, if we uh, when we submit this thing, first we need to have this value and this value. When we submit this one, we actually need to send this name value and email value into our backend so we will have this belly and this belly together so to have these two value so we're gonna have data to submit we will have name and name and email and will be email so this email come from here and this email also come from here but in if you we use the ES6 we can just type like this it will more clear so now we need to send this data into our backend so when we do that we actually need to use the axios so first we need to download that dependency so if we come in here we can see we, we, we need to use these two dependencies for our front end so we're gonna download the two dependency so this one is the proxy 
this proxy will connect our backend and front end and we will use the X user for uh, requesting our uh, sending our request to our backend so come in here npm install axios and http proxy middleware save so now we are done with downloading two dependencies so we come back in here so in here we will import axios from axios and then we will put axios in here and we will use the post http request and first it will be the address it will be the request that we will send our request to so this will be api and api and send mail so in here we're gonna put data to submit in here so this is all we need to do in our front end so now uh, it's time to go back to our back end in here so we are going to make the routing in here and this will be at the post and we will write the locations of we get from our front end so I use the send mail so send mail and after that we will get the callback function we will request and response and we will check what kind of data we will get from request uh, but uh, to use this request we need to use our body parser to do that first we will use the app variable and, we, and then we will use the body parser and url and call there extend the true and we will use body parser JSON and we will use the cookie parser so now we can use the request in body and then now it's time for us to do the send email from here so we will make we need to make a function in here but if we do something in here it will be super long so that's why i'm gonna just make one file named the mail.js first we are gonna bring the on node mailer require we make a function name send email in here we will get some argument so who we are gonna send to and the uh, name of the person we will send the mail into and the uh, mail type and we will write as mtp trans port and we will get this mailer from the node mailer and create trans port uh, service I'm gonna use the gmail which is most popular and authentication 
in here user so you need to write your email in here I'm gonna use mine then I need to write the password and then I'm gonna make one more function name mail get email data uh, the argument will be to and name and type ID right in here we gonna put them in here too for another a function this function will come in here and to name template I yeah, just template just we're gonna uh, save on variable data and it will be null for at the first and we will do switch and but there will be a lot of template uh, I'm gonna make two template uh, first template will be just when I want to say hello to someone and this data from here from John on J1 Jermaine John Com and two um, the receiver's email and subject for that email and hello uh, no. we can put receiver's name from here and lastly we get the we need to have the template for that email so we didn't have this template yet so let's see we're gonna make this template in different files so we will bring it from the different file so first we're gonna write that one and we will make it later the file's name will be hello template so we can have like say the break and I can make one more template when I want to say thanks so this one will be thanks and it can be same as this one and lastly I will make the default and data and return data eventually so 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 if I make it a little bit clearer first we will use this same email function so we will get uh, receiver's name uh, receiver's email and name and the type of the template so we will use this uh, node mailers mailer and we will make transport and then we will use the gmail after we get all the configuration for the node mailer we will put all the information in here so in here we will choose the template we will use uh, it can be hello or thanks so uh, we will also need to make the hello template or that template uh, in another files and then after that we will really send the email 
by using node mailer transform send mail this will be mail function error and response if error error console law error else if that email is sent well so we're gonna say in sent success for and then we need to close this SM2P transport close and then we actually need to export this send email function because we need to use this one in here so we are going to do module export send email in here we need to we need to put this thing oh, in here like this but first we will see what kind of information we can get in here from the our front end oh, type in here so So well, I'm gonna write the name John and the email will be gmail.com I'm gonna click this one we will have this error so if we come in here right our front our front the port will be is TTP local host 3000 like this and our server with HTTP uh, like this will be a local host 5000 so do I need to write like this so I, I try like this and then I'm gonna do it it's not actually we will be cut by the our course policy because the our server and front end the port will be different so that's why we have this issue or well, in this time what we need to do is the proxy so that's why we downloaded this dependency HTTP proxy middleware so we will use this one so to use that uh, we need to make uh, the file named set of proxy .js and in here we're gonna like bring the proxy require HTTP Proxy video where and module export function add and use proxy API and target will be HTTP localhost 5000 because the we are listening to 5000 port it is 4000 
like it, it has to be the 4,000 but we need to have 5,000 because we have 5,000 so now we are trying to so now we have served our course issue so but we only turn our iPhone and server right now so we want to turn on our server and front end at the same time together that's why we downloaded our concurrently so to use the concurrently we need to change our script in here I'm gonna type it start our engine point will be index.js and we want to turn on our entry point by using both mode so we can upload it in real time and front end will be mbm run front because if we see here front client and then client as package JSON we can see star npm run stars so we come back in here in our back but we need to write the prefix and it will be client because this file is inside the client so and then we will write the dev so we will use it concurrently in here will be mp npm run backend npm run star prefix client so we are done for configuration in here so now it's time for us to turn on our server and our front end at the same time together so first we need to go back our directory so now in here and then run that uh, something is already running on port 3000 so i need to i just turn all the 3000 port and i'm gonna do it again so if you see here so i wrote user but it has to be used instead of user so that's why I have some problem there so I'm gonna do it clear and then npm run dev again to turn on our server and client in here now what we need to do the last is we need to make our template for this dance template and the hello template but those will be really simple because we don't need to make really nice template right now so we're gonna make the template name hello template js and dance template js well, I already made that template so I'm just gonna copy and paste it because the we don't have a lot of time <laughs> for this one it will be really simple one this hello template just type the hello and the name at content will be just hello and the thanks one also will be same as that I'm going to just change this one, thanks and thanks and thanks and thanks one. So if we come in here, we also need to make thanks and thanks. So in here, we're gonna click this one. So if we come in here, in our console law you can see this one 
name John and email uh, smileajw this month so this one will print that reserve the name and email address so we will use this function we just made in the mail.js so first uh, it needs to be email address so we want to send to so it will be request body name uh, email and this one will be request body name and the type will be hello template for right now I think we're really ready to send the email so now we come back in here we will write the name of the receiver John and address will be this one and I click send email if I come to have some problem in here send email is not defined ah, we didn't bring this one right now in here because send email from mail so I write my name John I write the name of the person who will get this email so send email get it hello John on so we successfully sent our email to the person we want to send it to so um, thank you for watching this video and if there is something you want to add you can just uh, make the comment in the below and see you later thank you